Hi everyone, I'm Enya, the Education Officer at Goulburn Museum, and I'm here on day nine of our 12 Days of Christmas campaign to talk to you about making popcorn garlands. So this is a really fun, straightforward activity that harkens back to Christmas traditions from the late 1800s. Once Christmas trees became popular, people living in Canada would decorate them using cheap available things from around the house. So food like corn was popular, cranberries were another really popular option in Canada. Uh, and all you need for this craft is your popcorn, a sharp needle that will pierce through it, your scissors, and some sort of string or line. And I actually like using dental floss because it's waxed, so it will let the popcorn slide really nicely along it. So start with a piece of floss about two to three feet long. You don't want it too long to start with and tie a good knot at the end. Thread the needle and I recommend actually tying it off so that it doesn't slip off as you work. Then it's just a matter of pushing the needle through the center of the popcorn and then dragging the popcorn to the end of the floss. Now, as you work, you may notice that some pieces are more difficult and they could break. That's fine, you just need to pick up again and choose a new piece. And continue in this way, threading the needle through the popcorn and pushing the popcorn to the end of the floss. Now, when you reach the end of the line, you can decide to make a short garland or you can tie on a new piece of floss and extend it. And you can keep doing this in theory until you have a garland as long as you would like. 